Hi guys, it's Hunter. Uh, today is June 3rd, 2017. It is approximately 11:12 on a Saturday night. And for this video clip, I mean, I've, I'm going to talk about autism and memory. Um, I've gotten quite a few requests on what to make for my next videos. And one of them was to make a video on memory, autism and memory, especially autistic savants. Now, a handful of um, individuals with autism have savant abilities. And in case you don't know, a savant is a special ability, unique, unusual ability, so to speak. And um, many people with autism have savant skills, or are considered savants. Um, as many of you know, I myself have autism, and while I don't really have any strong um, unique skills, um, I do have some skills that are quite unusual. I guess you could say I'm a savant. Um, the reason why I make this video Autism in Memory is because not only do I happen to have autism, but I also happen to have an exceptional memory. So I guess you can say that my savant abilities are memory related. I don't know if I've um, said in previously that I have a that my memory is really good with um, dates, especially remembering birthdays. Um, some people ask me how I remember. Um, birthdays and to be honest I can't really give an explanation why my memory is wired a certain way I just happen to remember um, dates really well and sometimes if you ask what I do on this or if you ask what I did on this day I could possibly remember it ever heard the saying the brain can only do so much that happens to be true you may know that people like me often do really good in one area and lag behind in another area. And since people who don't have autism don't really have the memory I do, they have um, certain skills that I don't have as much of. Um, so basically, while I have a really good memory, I'm not as good as other things. And then there are people who are better at this than I am, and then they don't have the memory I have. Yeah, the brain can only do so much, and um, some studies even show that if your IQ is above 150, social skills dramatically drop. That's why many geniuses that are Asperger, -y, like Steve Jobs, who is very intelligent, lacked social skills and workplace skills. There are many gifted people who would have the potential to do really well in a workplace setting, yet lack other skills because their special abilities take over their social um, circuits of the brain, like they have a lot of math. Met maybe someone who has high-functioning autism, who has a bunch of mathematics circuits, but then lack not as many social circuits. Brain is wired differently. So someone who's good at math could be a mathematician and may have the potential to do really well, but struggle to work with other people. It's an uneven level of skill. And we all, autism or not, we all are good at something and then bad at something else. It's not just autism, you're good at this, you're not good at that. It's and everybody, you know, we all have strengths and weaknesses. And our challenge as human beings is to discover our strengths and figure out how to use them to um, succeed, basically discovering your skills and then um, understanding how you can apply them and what you can do with them. You know, whether it's build off a career, like if you're good with computers, work as an IT, if you're good at math, be a math teacher or an engineer, you know. And then, so yes, our challenge as human beings is to discover our strengths and work on our weaknesses. And we can always improve our weaknesses, but that doesn't mean we'll, I mean, we can certainly try to shine in those areas, but we'll never be perfect. But all you can do is do the best you can.
and you will thrive no matter what. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a wonderful Saturday night, and I will make more videos. Thank you for watching, as always.